You're gonna make a cross section, which means we're gonna slice this. Hi, I'm Nick Schweitzer, and I teach math at Hamilton High School. This is a big deal to us because this is a huge application of calculus. This is a lot of what engineers are doing with this. Today, the hope was to uh, experience kind of the 3D cross sections in a tangible way. We are going to create some 3D objects um, related to what is on your map. For me, I know that um, 3D math is hard to visualize. I don't see pictures in my head, so I really wanted to help students kind of see and dig into the um, cross sections in a visual way that is right in front of their faces. So what do we know about the formula for the volume of a cube? They loved it. I mean, they get to embrace their inner child with it. I love that, that they could just kind of get a chance to use these materials. You might go, I'm never going to walk into math class and get to play with Play-Doh in high school, but um, just a great way to kind of help them just be kids at heart still um, and learn some cool calculus along the way. So after you make one slice, Make another slice really close to it so you could kind of take a slice of your region out. I really hope that this sticks with them in a way that they can kind of come back to the Play-Doh experience and kind of when they see that cross-section question or two on the AP exam that they can um, kind of go, oh yeah, with the Play-Doh and I can kind of visualize now even though I might not draw 3D all that well, just how can I um, kind of bring it back to the Play-Doh experience and see what's going on to kind of help them tread through the problem. This is gonna be the general equation, the general way, the formula to find a semi-circle cross-section. Can you destroy the rest? Yeah. 